We live in a fortunate age. Maybe you think I mean the modern age. Actually, I mean Buddhism has taken root in the West. Until recently, qualified teachers of Mahayana Buddhism outside of Asia have been few and far between. We've had to travel to the Far East to find deep teachings in the subjects of compassion, emptiness, karma, and enlightenment. Today it's an amazing gift that we can learn about the ancient teachings of the Buddha through this 13-part video series. Buddha's explanation of why. That's all. It's simply his technical explanation of why. You get harm. You get love. Whatever the story is. I mean, it's a heavy duty idea, but it's very empowering. Because it says, I can change it. fundamental level of our mind, the purest level, of, the most basic level of our mind has this Buddha nature, this Buddha potential, our potential to know everything perfectly and to know everything with compassion, patience, generosity and so on. power that is awakened in us by contemplating impermanence and death. We are inspired to practice the Dharma in everything we do and not to waste another moment of our precious lives. I am, you are, every single thing, all selves and all things in existence are empty of an independent existence. That's all. Therefore, things are dependent and interconnected. All things are connected. On the basis of compassion that wishes others to be free of suffering, loving kindness that wishes others to enjoy happiness, you cultivate a sense of special responsibility aspiring to attend Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Without meditation, there's no way that you can develop a habit of seeing that everything is a projection. Buddhism is kind. It, it allows you to change what you know so that you can create your own happiness. It's just a question of doing the work, not being lazy and stop wasting time and just do the steps. And then maybe become a Buddha, helping people or something. It'd be great. I'd like to do that.